Like books, long documents can benefit from an index, which helps readers find specific words or topics and respective page numbers. The process of creating an index is similar to building a table of contents. The idea being to first mark text that should be included in the index, then let Word automatically assemble it. So, the first step is to select text we want included in the index. Then, on the References tab, in the Index group, find Mark Entry. Notice that the selected text automatically appears in the main entry field. Continuing at this point would make this text a top-level entry in the index. But in this instance, we want this text to come under a more general heading, so we'll cut the text with a Ctrl-X shortcut, then paste into the sub-entry field with Ctrl-V. Now we can enter a more general heading into the main entry field. There's more than one way to proceed at this point. You could create a cross-reference to another entry by selecting and typing the cross-reference after C. Under Page Range, you could also use a bookmark to identify the text you want Word to look through for indexing. But the easiest way is to use the default method, which is the current page option, so we'll leave it selected. Now, choose whether to mark just this occurrence, or as we'll do here, all occurrences of the entry throughout the document. Notice how a tag has been added next to the words Sustainable Energy. Because you'll want to mark other entries, the window stays open, which makes the process a little faster. To continue, just select the text or phrase you want to include. Then click on the window. Choose Mark or Mark All. And repeat till you've marked all the text you want to include in the index. As you can see, indexing automatically displays paragraph marks, but they're easy to hide. Switch to the Home tab and in the Paragraph group, click the Show Hide button to turn off paragraph marking. At this point, we're ready to insert the index, which would usually be at the end of the document. We can jump there with the keyboard shortcut, Control, End. Just place the insertion point where you want the index to start. Open the References tab, and click Insert Index. The Index window provides a preview showing how the index will look, along with options for adjusting its appearance. For example, you could add right-aligned page numbers, adjust the look of the tab leader, or choose from a different format, like this cool bulleted style. You may also want to break the index into columns, and they can be adjusted here. The index is formatted with the document's style, and by clicking Modify, you have a chance to customize it to your taste. Indexes tend to have a smaller font size, but for this example, I'll choose a slightly larger size. Closing the windows, here's the index. Not bad. Of course, after review or changes, the index will need to be updated, and this is straightforward as well. Just find, select, and mark the additional text. Return to the index, click to select it, then find Update Index on the ribbon. So, we've learned how to make finding the right information in long documents easier by inserting an index in Word 2013.